Yo, what is up everybody? It is your boy Isifs here coming at you with a brand new video. And today we're coming out with the second installment, the second episode of the Road to Diamond series. As you guys know, I've been working on getting diamond. Or I technically already have diamond um, by the time you're seeing this video. But these videos um, are just going to be my thoughts and opinions of every sniper and where I would rank it in terms of best to worst or like a 1 to 10 scale, something like that. So this episode, we're going to be talking about the Time 99. Um, if you guys don't know, the Time 99 is actually the first sniper that you get on the game. Um, it's actually probably, in my opinion, in my opinion, I don't think it really fits my style too much. I think that the viableness of this sniper is kind of underfetched because in order for the sniper to be good, at least from my experience when I was first using it early on, it seems like the only way the sniper could really be good is if you unlock the vital perk. But the thing is that you're not unlocking the vital perk until like later on like real later on like probably like level 60 something i'm assuming that's it for the intel yeah it's one of the last it's literally the last proficiency that you unlock so i think with that it kind of makes sniping with this gun a little bit difficult now if you are somebody who is always hitting those neck and above shots always hitting those quick pop shots then yes this is the gun for you but for me personally i like my sniper to do more damage that way it doesn't matter really where i hit him as long as i hit him like like mid chest and above then i think it should be good um a lot of the challenges for this sniper weren't really too hard to do um i would i would say i was getting diamond like in the middle of everything changing so Bloodthirsty's got changed to like from well at least for the through line got changed from a hundred to like a hundred like shots while prone or something like that. You know, like things were changing a lot from my requirements when I was getting diamond. But this gun was actually pretty easy to get um in terms of getting gold. It didn't take me more than like four days, I would say, of like actual playing playing. Um but other than that I love the gun. I think it's pretty fast. I think it's good to use as a solo gun with the 20 round mag, but I don't I don't really use it as like a secondary for an overkill class or anything like that. I think the iron sight does suck on it, in my opinion. I think it does suck unless you're playing like a close range map like Das Haas or let me think, or like decoy or bocage or something like that. Those maps I would say yeah you can use iron sight on, but everything else is probably chalked. So I think this is good to run with either the regular scope or maybe like an ACOG. Um, they have like a type times 10 scope. Um, this basically it zooms in like the magnification zooms in like probably ridiculous. But I think that's good for like people that like to pop shot and go for like kind of different clips and stuff like that. Um, but those are that's my opinions on the the gun itself i hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video these are some quick little clips and good gameplays that i got so i hope you guys enjoy the rest and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace Let's have